And here we have our Shell gas station. In my opinion, really well done. And the sun is hitting it just right. So this is just glorious. So Ken, come on, tell me. You've got this Shell gas station pump here. You've got different models. Yeah, the, the oldest one, Lou, is the one in the middle. This one. And that's before people really believed or could figure out um, how it could calibrate and measure without seeing it. So people would order five gallons of gas. They'd pump it into one of these glass canisters so you could physically see that you were getting your money's worth. Yeah. And then it was a gravity feed through that white hose that put it down into the car. That makes sense. It's pretty cool, huh? That is very cool. And uh, one other fun thing, Lou. Full service gas stations, the car will come in and drive over the black hose. The black hose, yes. And another fun thing for kids to do <laughs> is jump up and down on this. We can have them come over and jump up and down, which is still a you know a safe thing to do, even if yeah. you're uh, if, even if you're a big up. kid like us. Yes. This is great. Established in 1999, so take a look at your gas station. This is just great. You can see you've got your... I'm going to actually get on the other side and show you that. And your gas canisters. This is just a marvelous building. Yeah. And uh, we also have uh, restrooms here. And I would say, tell people, these are the cleanest gas station restrooms you're ever going to give away. <laughs> That's just... Great. What a wonderful. Look at that. All of the memorabilia. Complete shell service. Shell station. Automobile horns. Where the kids, where the adults can blow them. I remember the other one. Can we catch up to that? Let's go one more time. barn and here we go nineteen forty Lincoln Zephyr greeted by this forty nine Kaiser take a look at that hood ornament there that great badge with the buffalo. Of 
48 Crosley, 41 Bantam Checker, 40 Ford, a wonderful camper. Our 47 DeSoto. The 48 Woody Wagon. And I'll glare off that window. I'll try to get it this way. That's cool. The 40 Nash. The 39 Hudson. This great staircase. Just went back to here. More cars upstairs. Page. Wow, look at the colors on this one. And the detail work. And then spokes. A 1925 locomobile. Wow. I've only seen one other locomobile. And that's on the channel. 1920 locomobile. You can take a look at that. So we'll go around the front here. 31 Model A. A 35 Ford. Not familiar with this company, Star. Great name for a car company though, right? 1921 Ford. 26 Buick, 20 Whippet, 32 Chevrolet, the 1921 Romer, Romer, and his badge. Nineteen twenty six Hanley Knight. This car looks like it's in lavender. Nineteen twenty Romer. Nineteen eleven Buick. Nineteen ten Ford. A little light challenges there, but let's see if I can. Get a better shot of that. Nineteen seventeen Coal Eight. something for sure. And as we take a look at the carriage house, right off the bat we're greeted to a 1919 Stutz right there in Indianapolis. The 1917 Mercer. That's pretty cool.
1924 Studebaker. Nineteen oh eight Cadillac, this looks like a Model T dump truck, this looks like a Model T Shell gas oil truck, a Chevrolet fire truck, I didn't expect to see that. 64 Jaguar E Type Coupe. Jaguar Coupe. 1924 GMC truck. Model number K16. Big old split window in the center. Try to get a better shot of that from the side. Nineteen thirty four panel truck, nineteen twenty eight Nash, nineteen twenty one Roma, nineteen twenty two Dort, never heard of a Dort. Look at the back of the Cadillac. Cool. Out of Flint, Michigan. The 36 Y8 taxi cab. And the 82 checker cab. I remember those well. Chevrolet pickup. Good place for your rows to be kept. Nineteen twenty eight Nash. The Jaguar. Jaguar back end. The shell, shell tank truck. I'm just noticing back here on the Cadillac. Interesting information right there. And that wraps up this building. While at the Gilmore, you want to stop at George and Sally's Diner, the Blue Moon Diner. And we've stuck some cars out here for you to give you the flavor. So you can see it's an old, looks like a Pullman railway car that is now eligible for eating. I mentioned I'd share the diner. There's the diner. You can see the beautiful tile floors. All the seating there at the front and your stools gives you that flavor of the old diners of the 50s and the 40s. As we're taking you on the tour through the Gilmore you can see the Red Barns Raceway and obviously well you could see it's a red barn but take a look at what they have in here today and all the time this fantastic slot car track this is magnificent. 
It's got a great feel to it. All the, and you can see the pick up your car in case it's in the middle of the track with the clippers, all computerized. And Lou, this is one of the original barns on the property. Uh, also, in 1957, the very first slot car track in the United States was right here in Kalamazoo. Is that right? And these are actual pictures uh, from that event in cars from there of people on that. So we kind of are celebrating a little bit of, of uh, car history as young boys and, and uh, young men got introduced to uh, racing uh, in their basement or in their home. So this is kind of the ultimate to be in one of these original barns to the property. That is just... And volunteers from our education committee put all of this together and created all of this and they worked hours and hours and hours on it. And you could see that this was established in 2017 which means that the museum well keeps evolving so if you haven't been here you can come in and, and just continue to enjoy. The raceway is open on weekends and there's a schedule uh, that would be up at the admissions office as well so if people want to come back and, and have fun and do some racing. And we'll leave it on the Red Barns Raceway. So as we're in the brass room we're greeted by a 1903 St. Louis Put 1903 on it, and we'll just walk around. A 1913 Michigan. Never heard of a Michigan before. 1909. Holzman. Stanley Steamer. Nineteen twelve Cadillac. Nineteen ten. Nineteen oh five Cadillac. Nineteen fifteen Brewster. If I can get you a better angle on that. <laughs> That's quite the rumble seat there. Are your turn signals? Iuga horn. And that's how you do it right there. No instrumentation on that one. 1906 Watham. Nineteen oh eight Buick. Stanley written right there. Nineteen oh three Oldsmobile. That's pretty cool. What do we have here? Nineteen oh four auto car. Nineteen oh four Holzman. A replica of an eighteen or excuse me, eighteen eighty six Mercedes Benz. Carriage. 
1903 Ford. Look at the grill. Nineteen oh three Michigan. A big horn. A oh, neat little runabout there. There's your engine. Very cool. Nineteen oh three. Columbia. This is kind of cool. This is how your car came in a box. 1899 locomobile. Just like that. They strap it in with some wood blocks. Open up a few valves and drive away. Get this purse. That's a heck of a way to go. Nineteen sixteen locomobile. Exclusive cars for exclusive people. Always impressive. Locomobile across the front. 1909 brush. Never heard of a brush before. There's your instrumentation, and your looks like you're running a train car. The electric coach, electric cars before, well, electric cars, the 1906 Columbia, and a big crank on the front, as you can see, and the 1909 Thomas, the Thomas Flyer, boy, look at the press on this car. Just amazing. And if we're going to end, we can end with this 1916 Winston Hearse. There he goes, no. I wouldn't end it that way. You'd have to have some fun, so we'll end it with toys. So here's a little tin car portion of the museum. The headlights and the wheels on that one. More tin cars. Smokey the Bear. There you go. Your mobile space TV trailer. With your fire car with the fins. That looks cool. Your Mustang gear shift car. Show you how that one comes to be assembled. A remote control car. This is a new car. A 
thought this was an interesting explanation. But the Japanese cars are whimsical and colorful, and the German cars are educational and realistic. That's beautiful. Dodge Charger. So I'd just like to thank the people at the Gilmore for having me out and sharing this wonderful experience and opportunity which I'm happy to share with you and the globe. I'd just like to thank Ken for the director, and you can see all the details of the Gilmore Museum in the description of the video. No better way to end with the James Bond toy car. Thanks everybody.